Hello, my name is Joyce Gibb. Thanks so much for being with me today. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, some labs and what these lab values mean. And this is part one of a part two series. And today I'm going to talk about creatinine and creatinine and GFR, which is GFR stands for glomerular filtration rate. And that's how much fluid is filtered per millilitre per minute through your kidneys. So I'm going to go over these and just explain those. So what is creatinine? So creatinine or C, capital C, little r, um, it's a byproduct of certain uh, muscle creatinine phosphate breakdown. Okay, so it breaks down when the muscles contract. And it acts as a storage depot for muscle energy. It produces primarily from the contraction of the muscle. So its production is dependent on the mass of the person and then it's removed by the kidney. So a heavier bodybuilder will have typically a higher creatinine than a thin little child or an elderly person. Now, when you become elderly and you don't drink enough fluid, that creatinine can rise and the GFR or the glomerular filtration rate can actually drop because the renal function um, is not as good as it should be. So a disorder of the kidneys or urinary tract will actually reduce the excretion of um, creatinine or you know the clearance of it because that raises the blood level. So it's not being cleared as much, so the blood levels will go up. Definitely these two things are very dependent on fluid status. So if you go to get labs drawn the night before you've been you know working out in the yard or and you're dehydrated a little bit, Dehydrate when you go to bed, it's like, oh, I'm fasting. I can't drink water in the morning. Well, that's not, that's a misnomer. You should always drink water the night before and the day of your labs. But it's so dependent. Creatinine and GFR are so dependent on fluid status. If you're a little bit dehydrated, the creatinine level is going to go up. GFR is going to go down. So typically, the range of creatinine, the high range, some labs use 1.1, some labs use 1.3. But GFR, should, or how much fluid is filtered per minute, should always be greater than 60. So when your creatinine goes up, your GFR goes down because you're not filtering as much fluid through the kidneys. And if you're not drinking enough water, that's the case. You're not drinking enough water, so you have less filtered fluid going through the kidneys. So you have increased levels. Why do you have increased levels of creatinine? Um, if you're dehydrated, if you have a urinary tract obstruction, congestive heart failure because not as much fluid is being filtered through the kidneys, um, aspirin, NSAIDs, non-steroidals can actually raise creatinine. Antibiotics, bismuth like in Pepto-Bismol can actually raise your creatinine um, and lithium. And then some diuretics such as Lasix, they can raise your creatinine level. Um, falsely high elevated creatinine levels can actually be from a high consumption of ascorbic acid or vitamin C. So that can falsely raise that. And cephalosporins, which is a um, and antibiotics. And then it can be low, your creatinine levels can be low if you have muscle atrophy. Um, like with, you know, some people are not eating, they're fasting for whatever reason, that can actually drop your creatinine level. So just remember, always drink water the night before your labs, drink water the day of your labs, even if you're fasting. So in the hospital, say you have to have a procedure which includes a dye test for a cardiac procedure etc. They will have you do a fluid challenge, uh, which is even in congestive heart failure, they'll give you like 200 cc's of normal saline in your IV. Repeat that blood lab creatinine and GFR to see if it's come up. Um, so there's a lot of people with congestive heart failure. You have to be very careful as to how much fluid they consume or drink. So um, if you have any further questions about labs, and remember this is part one of a part two series, uh, just give me a call and I'd be glad to review your labs with you. Thanks a lot and have a good day. Thanks for listening. If you want to make sure you're getting the latest health information, click the subscribe button below and ring the bell. That way you can make sure you're not going to miss out on any of the latest information.